guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Maddie if you are new here and I am so excited to be showing you this week's video. Oh my god, I just finished editing it. It looks so good and I'm so happy with it. But um, this week's video is a week of workouts or what my workout split is looking like currently. Um, these videos are probably one of my favorites to film and edit. They just always come out looking so good and I feel so proud of them but I just wanted to do a quick little disclaimer that this video doesn't have my warm-up or cool downs in it just because I didn't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that but if you are please leave a comment down below and I will do another one that's more focused on my uh, warm-up and recovery but uh, this specific one is more geared towards conditioning and exercises and just ways that if you wanted to you could implement these uh, workouts into your split maybe if you wanted to but I had so much fun filming this video so let's get into it and I hope you guys enjoy this video okay guys so I'm super duper busy I'm filming two YouTube videos today plus I'm filming Instagram reels and stuff like that so today is my first day back at the gym since Friday I didn't go Saturday because I was exhausted <sighs> kind of like how I am right now anyway um I'm about to go in and do a back and biceps workout today is actually a double workout day which means that I have a workout this morning and then Gavin and I are going to do another one this afternoon when he gets home from work so we're going to go do a quick back and biceps workout do that and um yeah and then I'll bring you guys along for my second workout of the day, which I think, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do because I have, I do have to do some filming for some um, marketing. So that I have to do as well. And I think that's what my second workout is going to be is what, actually no, no, my, this workout is probably gonna be that. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm probably gonna do this workout, see how it goes, um, but yeah. Okay guys, so to start off this workout, I like to do some plank with rows. I'm just doing it on my knees just because I find it's a little bit easier to keep my core engaged. And because this is a hit movement, we're doing them in three different sets of 30 seconds, 20 seconds, and 10 seconds. But the main thing with this exercise is you wanna keep your core engaged. Now we are on to some push-ups. I like to do my push-ups on my knees just because I find I can actually do a better push-up than I can on my uh, toes but it's all personal preference do it on your toes if you can if you can I thoroughly wish I could but my form is horrible if I do it on my toes now onto the next exercise in this grouping these are called frog jumps I really like them because they're a nice a mixture of upper body and core and I like it because it's an explosive movement so you'll be exploding up into that squat and then really using your core to bring them up as well. Now on to the next group of exercises in this workout. These are ball slams. Uh, you just go up on your toes and slam the ball down as hard as you can. I'm just using a medicine ball here but these are super awesome for upper body as well as lower body so love them. Now we're on to some tricep dips. You can do these on an actual tricep dip machine, but we do not have one at this facility. So I'm just using a bench and I find that the bench works really well as well. But the only thing is it can be a bit hard on your shoulders. So if you have issues with your shoulders, I would not recommend doing it this way. Now moving on to the last movement. These are front raises. They're gonna be working your shoulders and you really just want to focus on using your shoulders rather than your back for this movement but it's one of my favorites. And I also find that using a plate is a little bit easier than using um, a barbell or anything like that. Number two of the day, let's go back in biceps, starting off with some straight arm lat pull downs. You really want to just pull with your back. You're focusing on pull squeezing your scapulas together. Those are basically like your wings of your back. But if you focus on kind of squeezing them at the bottom, um, you'll get a very awesome uh, contraction and you'll work the muscle really, really nicely. Now on to some cable bicep curls. 
oh boy, do these hit different, especially if you do like a hammer curl before. Um, these are by far one of my favorite exercises when trying to hit biceps, not only because I get to actually see the muscle um, in contraction, but it also is really awesome to really exhaust the muscle. So I really love doing these and you really just want to Make sure you're doing a weight that's alrighty. And now on to some bent over rows. With this movement, you really want to focus on bringing that weight to your hip. And that way you can kind of make sure you're using your back rather than your shoulder and your triceps. Uh, this is probably one of the harder movements for me. I, as you can see, I'm really focusing on pulling that weight to my hip. You can't have a back and bicep day without some bicep curls to hammer curls. I like this movement just because you get the best of both worlds and you can use both exercises to hit different parts of your bicep. Love them and they're a great um, combat compound movement, but they're great. Love them. Row dose of the week, glute and hamstrings. Oh, I'm tired. Oh but that is the plan. I'm just, just about to go in, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a good workout. So hoping for that, but let's go do a solid leg day. Day two, here we go for some glute and hamstrings. One of my favorite movements recently has been RDLs. I absolutely love them. Uh, with this movement, you really wanna focus on uh, keeping your back straight and then as soon as you feel your hamstrings expand or stretch out is that time when you're going to use them to pull that weight right back up to the top make sure that you're squeezing your glutes at the top and that again you're not curling your back because that can cause some serious injury so make sure you have someone watch you or you take a video to kind of make sure you're doing it right now on to some good mornings as just like RDLs, you wanna make sure that your back is straight. I like to use a Smith machine for this exercise just because I find that doing this exercise with an actual barbell is a lot for my back. So I prefer to use a Smith machine just so then it's not as much weight um, directly on my back, but you really want to focus on extending those hips and pushing them back and using that to get you right back up again. Now on to the dreaded split squat. These are probably the worst exercise ever. I hate them so much, but they are my favorite to do a superset with because they're one of the best exercises for me personally that I find can exhaust a muscle group so well. So here I am just focusing on pushing forward and pushing through that front leg rather than the back one just so I can make sure it's going through my glute. And I like to kind of measure out where my feet go based off of um, what where my legs sit when I'm they're fully extended and I'm sitting down. So that's kind of how I get my perfect footed position. Last exercise of the day here, I'm just doing some hamstring curls. These are the second exercise in this superset. Again, another great exercise to completely demolish a muscle group. So this with the split squats are probably one of my go-to supersets to end off a session. Morning, babes. It is eight. Oh, 06. I'm at the gym eating my Nutri-Drain bar like I always do. I'm currently sitting in my car waiting to go to the gym. Oh yes, it's my favorite guy. Anyway, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do a sick upper body kind of workout. Probably going to film it. I need to, but that's kind of where I'm at, but yeah, today's a busy, busy day, that's why I'm vlogging, but I'm just eating my Nutri-Grain bar, and I parked like at the opposite side of where the gym that I normally go into is, just because I wanted to have like, I want to walk. I need some steps. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna park at the opposite side of where the gym is so then I can get my steps in. So, oh yeah. Day three of workouts and we're doing a triple threat day, which means chest, triceps, and shoulders. So here I'm just doing a inclined bench press, trying to keep 
those arms a little bit below 90 just so I can get a full contraction and I'm just focusing on pushing them up to the top and pushing through my chest and keeping my feet planted. Now the fun one we're doing a narrow uh, bench press I'm just using a plate here I find it's easier to get a better hand position but basically it just hits a different part of the chest but you're just going to basically do the exact same thing that you would normally do for a bench press. The only difference is, is you're using a plate instead of a barbell, which I personally find is a little bit easier, but to each their own. So this is another awesome one to just hit a different part of your chest. Now we're doing some lat, uh, lat raises on the cable machine. I really like this one because it it's just a different kind of lateral raise. I also find them to be extremely difficult. They are probably one of the hardest lateral raises to do, to be honest, just because you have the consistent tension of the cable. So your body doesn't really get that rest that it normally does with a normal cable. But uh, you just want to really focus on keeping it straight and not leaning like I am here at the end. But focusing, if you need to, grab onto the bar that's there and it can sometimes help you just kind of focus on that muscle group rather than leaning and using other parts of your body to do this movement. And now on to the tricep superset of the workout, just doing some tricep extensions. I like to use the rope just because I can get that full extension at the bottom and you get a really awesome pull, but make sure that your elbows are staying in one place. You don't want them moving and to make it a little bit harder, don't keep your hands close together. Um, the closer to get more close together they are, the easier the movement will be. So you kind of want them to be a little bit separated. Now on to the second exercise of the superset. These are just skull crushers. And just like the tricep extensions, you want to keep your hands kind of farther apart to make it a little bit more difficult. And try your best to keep your elbows in place. And you're just going to be pulling them overhead. Do your best to kind of try and pull up. But obviously here, I was having a little bit of difficulty with that but that's all depending on where you place the lever. Okay, for workouts, I'm just doing some leg press here. Um, I try to keep my feet kind of farther, lower down on the pad, and then keep them closer together. That way I can get a solid quad um, engagement. This is, for example, this is the glute and quad um, workout of the week. So again just making sure that I am pushing through kind of through my toes almost and having my heels kind of hanging off the edge a little bit of the pad just to make sure I'm getting that quad engagement and now on to some barbell elevated squats so I just have my heels here on a um plate and I'm just squatting it down. Be careful with this exercise because sometimes it can be a little bit strenuous on your knees just because you are putting a lot of your weight forward. So that's why I have a very light weight here, but this is another really awesome exercise to really get that quad engaged. Here we are again with the horrific split squats. I absolutely despise them, but again, here they are. Again, focusing on putting that weight through the front leg and giving that forward lean. Oh boy, these were burning by the end of it, but they're great. So I had to add these in as well. Last exercise of the week, we are doing some hack squat. These, I like to kind of keep my feet kind of up just because I found that my knees were going over my toes a little bit more than what I liked. So I just kind of put my toes a little bit over the bar or over the platform at the bottom and I found that it worked just as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. I, subscri I post every Wednesday around five o'clock. So if you want to see more of those, please subscribe and leave a comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see next. Um, but yeah, leave a comment and like. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I will see you next week for a new video. But if you want, I also post more workouts on my Instagram. So make sure you check out that. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. I will see you next week. I love you. Bye.